I'm Master Mark, and it's my pleasure to welcome you back to RimWorld. Now, in the last episode, we were attacked by Mechanoids, Mechanoid Scythers. They came in and attacked us. We thankfully killed them, however, we unfortunately suffered a casualty, and poor old Camino. Wait a minute, who was it? Yeah, Camino unfortunately died. Um, additionally, we lost a couple of limbs. Who was it? It was, uh, not Lagua. Was it Sam? Sam lost her left hand, and who else was it? I think Lolland lost his right arm, unfortunately. Yeah, so that, that messed us up pretty bad. But, on the bright side, we are currently working on... It, it's spring, and we've got a rice crop growing. And soon enough, we're going to be ready to pick up and move. Just before long, we're just going to be able to grab all of our stuff and just get on the road, you know? Our meat is unfortunately rotting, which is going to make things a little harder. Our, most of our meals are going to go bad soon. Eclipse! That doesn't matter because we don't use uh, solar power, so that really doesn't affect us. It's fine. It actually might stop the rice plants from growing, so never mind. I guess it kind of does affect us, unfortunately. Hmm. I guess we could uh, mine out some of these components to sell later while we're on the road. You know, mine them out and sell them so that way we can make some money while we're out. <laughs> hmm. That's the thing. We're going to need money to buy some food. James is going into a psychotic state. That's not good. But yeah, I just want to make sure that we have some money for when we're actually, like, running around. Mental break. That's not good. Jeez, oh, Pete's. We're just having an all... That death really messed everyone up, didn't it? That really did, did a number on our colony. Let's also create another... Create another bit of porch over here so that way we can put more of our stuff. Because we've gotten more people, we're also carrying more stuff. It is 15 degrees Celsius outside, which is not bad. It's actually fairly warm, all comparatively. The animals are eating. The people are working. I'd say things are going pretty well now. The only thing is we're going to have to pack up soon. We're just waiting to get enough of the, what's it called, pemmican. I should also mark some animals for hunting so that way we can gather some more meat. Because unfortunately it seems like most of our meat has gone bad. Where are some good animals to hunt? There's a couple of rabbits but I don't think they're really worth sending people out for. Tortoises are surprisingly dangerous it turns out. But you know what, I'll just set one, because why not? There's a turkey down here, which may be worth it. There's a turkey, might be worth going down for. If you know what I mean. Wink, wink. Oh, that's awful. Okay. There's a couple of nearby squirrels, so you might as well. And a rabbit. They're real close to the base, so might as well get them. Um, there's a boom rat. Oh! There's some animals. We can hunt those. Let's also work on gathering, gathering some food from around here. Food and other goodies. Speaking of which, who do I have on growing and harvesting that kind of stuff? Um, Stoka is on it. Well, he should be, but he's mining right now. That's fine. He can do that. We'll get those components and that'll make us some money. That's fine. Biduero and James are both kind of freaking out. Biduero's hiding in his room. Or, well, he should be, but he's kind of just hiding inside, in general. It's not really his room so much as it is his, like, A room. But you know what? Let's let's cut him a break. Let's give Buduero a break. He's gone through some hard times. Speaking of hard times, um, very joy-deprived. That's not good. Little pain, uncomfortable, darkness, starving. Um, that's fine. Extreme break risk for James. But he just ate something, so it should be fine. Speaking of joy, we have a horseshoes pin, don't we? Well, oh yeah, it's inside, but we'll set an outside one too, just so that way everyone can kind of take it easy, you know. Relax outside and have a good time. Just like we all love to do. How much... Okay, the eclipse is over. Most of the rice crops are somewhere around a third, one half to one third done. Which is good. We're still making clothes. And hopefully we can sell those later. 
Well, we will sell them. Oh yeah, that's right, I had an idea. Let's go ahead and... No, it's not worth doing that. I, I learned an exploit like recently involving graves. Bit of an exploit, but the thing with graves is that pawns and colonists will, won't step in them. They won't. Regardless of whether they're open or filled, they just won't. So, if we put a bunch of empty graves around our base, it will effectively stop them from being able to uh, come in and melee attack us. Now, unfortunately, a lot of this here, this here area we've set up is actually stone, so we can't cover the whole way around, but we can put some stuff around. Looks like uh, Sam's out there nabbing some squirrels for us. Merchant from the Dominion of Karo. Alright, cool. We could sell them some stuff. Darklight is still our best social man, yeah? 11 out of 20. 7 out of 20. Yup, he still is. So, Darklight, my man. I need you to go and go and talk to Finch. See if you can sell him some stuff. What do we want to sell him? Let's sell him some clothes. Some, so let's sell him all the garbage clothes around here we don't want to bother bringing with us. You know, the crap ones that are like almost broken. And really any that we don't want. Ooh, that's a good parka, but we're going to sell it for the cash. Let's also take that, take that, take that. Can we buy any pemmican off of them? Ooh, they have a steel helmet. That's good. I want that. We need to invest in survivability. They also have pemmican, but they're selling it for $4 a pip, and that's really not worth it. Alright, what else can we sell? We got this crappy shotgun, which we'll sell, and some crappy other guns, which we'll sell for, like, pennies on the dollar. And we'll keep the rest. Alright. There we are. That's a fair trade. We now have a helmet. Now, someone here... I think Sam. Sam, go with, put that helmet on. I can't afford to lose Sam. And her having a helmet, it'll at least make her somewhat safer. Maybe not completely, but somewhat. Let's see. Copy settings, paste settings. Do we have someone to go and pick up those, uh, whatchamacallits? The, uh, components. Who's on hauling? Biduero is. Alright, Biduero, finish your meal. Play some... Actually, I'm just gonna tell you outright to, like... Go and pick up some of those components. Go and haul them. Please. We need to get these back here so that way we can sell them later. Sell them to somebody on the way. Hopefully. Because if we bring them with us, it's just going to increase our colony wealth and mean we're going to get attacked even worse in the future. Which is something I do not look forward to. I personally would find it best if, like, no one attacked us and we could just do our own thing out here, being a peaceful tribe... But knowing our luck and what happens, that's unlikely. You know what, maybe I shouldn't have hunted all these animals, like, right before they go bad. We're gonna go bad, we're gonna spoil them like a day. Maybe I shouldn't have gotten them when we don't have any, like, stuff to make pemmican with. Maybe. Let's also decrease the cook order meals to 25. Because the thing is, uh, I think that it's raw meat. No, never mind, never mind. I'm just going crazy. I just want to have more raw meat ready when the things go bad. Also, corpses last longer than raw meat for whatever reason. I don't understand why, but that's just how it works. Wait, escape pod? How, how are you? Melee one. Pretty. Green thumb. Good crafting. She's 63. You know what, I'm gonna say no. We don't need another mouth to feed. We don't need another mouth to feed, I think. I think we have enough people here. Even though I am tempted to get her, I think we'll just leave this one. This one really isn't worth the trouble. Everyone's sleeping except for Darklight, who of course loves to stay up late. He's a night owl. Likes to get things done during the night. And ooh, he's gonna build some graves for our pillbox. That's good. Hmm. Whew, everything's under control for right now. How is the rice growing? 51%, 69%. All right, we're gonna have a rice crop ready soon. Which is good, it, it's good to have rice. It's a very good food, you know? 
It'll, it'll fill our bellies really quickly, and then we'll be able to turn it into pemmican and take off. We'll be gone like the wind. They will have no idea. We're only going to sow one crop, and then we're going to make whatever we can into pemmican and take off. Because I would prefer not to stay here very long. Also, what is your priority? Pemmican. Pemmican first. Pemmican first, meals later, alright? That's how we're doing this now. And we've got the porch on to, well, the wall, I like to call it a porch, over the pemmican stores. So that way it doesn't go bad as quickly. Oh! Citizens are gathering to celebrate Darklight and Sam's marriage. That's, that's pretty nice. Darklight and Sam are getting married. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Wait just one minute. Sam, 43. Darklight, are you asleep while you're getting married? 57. 43, that's a 14 year difference. Hmm. I don't know what I think about that. You know what? Darklight, Sam, you are both been with us for a long time. You both came from the same sort of group. I think that it's okay. You have my official seal of approval. It'll be fine. I, I like you, Darklight. You're a good guy. You're a good guy. But... People, work needs to be done, so please get back to, like, hunting and gathering. We need that pemmican. We need to eat. We need to hunt. We need to gather. We need to get on the road before something finds us. And by something, I'm, I don't know what I mean. I just got a feeling something's gonna come and get us. You know? It's, I, I tell you, it's my thing I was talking about before. I feel like things are too good to be true right now. Oh man. They're getting married in the doorway? That's great. They're... Oh my gosh, that's great. Good for them. Good for them. They're married now. Also, for the future, guys, do your marriages like... You know what? We're not going to be here, so why bother setting a marriage spot? It's fine. It's fine. Uh, guys, if you could just get, like, back to work now, that'd be great. Thank you. Now, we just lost a day of productivity. Which means a day worth of food, food, of food and work, which is not how, which is not ideal. But hey, at least they're married now. I'll have to get them a double bed next time. I'll have to remember that. Like, make them a double bed instead of a single bed. That'll make them happy. Oh yeah, that's right. And also, Darklight can't haul, so he's just going to make pemmican out of stuff that he finds. Well, he's making meals out of stuff he finds. He's just gonna, he's just gonna haul it back instead of like hauling it back and then making it. That's fine. That's totally fine. I got nothing against that. That's definitely the most efficient way to do it. At least the rice will be ready soon. Once the rice is ready, we can just get back to hunting, and we can make tons and tons and tons of pemmican. Boy, oh boy, just so much. Our people will be just so full. They'll be like, ooh, I'm so full. I couldn't possibly eat another bite. We can travel for like a thousand days on this. Speaking of which, I want to have around a thousand pemmican for when we take off. I think that's about as much as we need. Actually, let me check. 20 pemmican for meal. And we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 8 people... 20 times 3, 60. So 60 per person per day, that means, okay, so 60 times 8, shoot, I should have a calculator for this, 60 times 8, what's 6 times 8, that'd be 48, 480 per day. Hmm, that's, that's, a, that's an awful lot we're going to need. But you know what, we've started bringing in the rice crop, some of the rice is ready. Boy, oh boy, this is great. Now we can actually get some stuff made. And hopefully no one will get crazy while we're trying to do it. You know? Everyone will stay calm, cool, and collected. And it'll be fine. Just totally fine. No problems. Um, the meals last for three days, apparently. That's not as long as I'd hoped, but you know what? It's fine. I wish someone would just, like... Hey... Please, please prioritize butchering. James, is your leg messed up? No, it's your right ear and you have food poisoning. Okay. 
That's fine, I get it. And we have pemmican over simple meals, right? Yeah, we do. Alright. So they'll get on that eventually. James is, of course, throwing up in the kitchen. Which is not something you want to do. That'll get people sick. In fact, maybe that's the reason people are getting sick. But you know what? That's okay. James, just keep on doing what you're doing. Making, slaughtering animals. Making pemmican. It'll be great. We have 544. I want to have around... I'd say 1300 before we take off. You know what? I wouldn't say a hard number so much as I just want, like, all of the rice processed. I want to turn all of the rice into pemmican before we go. Now, let's look at the world. Let's, let's start planning our route a little bit here. Alright. So, I think we're going to be heading north and then up and around here. Now, the bad thing about going north and around here is that really it's gonna be a bit of a walk to the next road like we're gonna go have to go from like here and get onto this road it'll be so going up and around like this it'll be three and a half days so let's say instead of going there let's go like here yep three and a half days and from there there's Liga Oguma and a pirate base here so I don't want to be there Oh, we need to get all the way down there. So what I say is we get down... Actually, let's try going down here. Yeah. We'll take this pass through the mountains when we get there. And then we'll walk down through this side of the area. And we'll eventually take this down here. And then we'll take that around there and there. Okay. We're going to do an ocean-wide walk through the desert. Extreme desert. Hmm. That looks pretty warm. We're gonna have to swap out, like, our parkas and stuff for dusters by the time we get there. Because we are not dressed for extreme heat. We'll just have to work on getting some dusters and stuff once we get to a warmer climate. You know, we'll set up some dusters and cowboy hats for everyone, so that way we don't burn to death out in the heat of the desert. That's something that's very much a concern. In fact, let's stop making... Let, let's stop making parkas. Let's do X times, one time, and then we'll make, like, some dusters. And we'll say, do until you have three. This is just in case she can get some done before we leave, by the way. This is not say, oh, we're gonna stay and do it. We're gonna, we're gonna let that get done, see if we can get that done before we leave. Now, people should be working on hauling in. Actually, Stoka, please haul, can someone please haul in that? Yep, they're hauling rice, good. This will speed up the cooking process a little bit, which is good. Ooh. Ooh, 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 so much pemmican, 700, ooh, ooh, it's great, it's great. We're just gonna have to hit the road before the, uh, before the old raiders attack us. Because something tells me having this much food cooked up is gonna add a lot to our colony wealth, and therefore mean that we're gonna get attacked by somebody. Then again, that could be my paranoid delusions talking, so who knows. Who knows what the future holds? Sure ain't me. Biduero, please prioritize butchering so that way we can get more pemmican made. Thank you. Now that'll get some pemmican made, alright. Tora has named Muffalo 5. Alice! Alright, Alice the Muffalo. It's a male Muffalo. Let's look at our Muffalos again, okay. We have an adult male and two adult females. That's alright. Let's keep one adult male around, just so that way we can keep the idea of having, like, a pack of them around with us. Because that'd be real nice, you know. And I'm sure you, if we need to be able to replace any lost muffalo. That's my main thing. We need to be able to replace them if anything happens. We need to keep them replaceable. A thousand pemmican, that's good. We're going to keep on going until we run out of rice. Because right now, rice is the limiting factor. No, not rice. I mean, maybe rice? I don't know. The limiting factor in the amount of pemmican we can make, I'd say probably is until we run out of meat. 
However, that's just until we go out and hunt more. The limiting, the real limiting factor is how much... Ooh, Muffalo, nice, let's hunt him. The real limiting factor isn't so much the muff meat as much as the rice. We need, we keep going until we run out of rice, because we're not going to do another crop of rice. Don't get me wrong, we've got plenty, it's probably going to last us quite a while. This amount of rice is going to last us a long, long time. We're going to be able to do quite the ride on this pemmican. But, it is, in the end, the rice that determines how much food we can make. We're just going to process all of this and hit the road. And that'll be real nice. Rice, rice, baby. Hmm. Maybe we should have one on meals and then the other on pemmican. I think that's a good idea. We don't have many meals left. Alright, we're going to have one work on simple meals and the other work on, you know, pemmican. That way we can keep some simple meals around, so that way people don't get bad moods from eating pemmican or raw food all the time. Hey! There's a dead muffalo. Not one of ours this time, thankfully. Not one of ours. Real good. Mmm, good eating. A lot of meat on them bones. A lot of meat on that muffalo. That muffalo is thick. I need to remember to put in some sort of visual effect with that. You know, like one of those deep fried memes where it's like thick and then the whole thing is warped. That could be funny. Or it could be like obnoxious and far reaching. I don't know. If I think it's funny, maybe I'll edit it in. But if I think it's obnoxious, maybe I won't. Tell me in the comments if you want, like, I don't know. That could be obnoxious. Plus, it means the people who are just chilling out, listening to it as, like, an audio podcast will be kind of... They'll be missing out. But then again, maybe the people who vigilantly actually watch, you know, with their eyes... Not being condescending or anything, just saying some... <laughs> just saying the, the people who visually watch it and find it visually stimulating can have, like, a little, little meme in there for them, you know little tidbits of funny stuff. But it would increase how hard I have to work when I edit. Hmm. Now that I said that thing about editing, it sounds like I'm a lazy jerk. <laughs> Who's afraid to do any work on his own show. Alright. Ooh, so much rice. We've got like 300 rice. Nice. Hmm. That's right, Dark Light. Keep on making that pemmican. Ooh! 1600 pemmican. Ooh! Ooh! Ooh, so much pemmican. Ooh! Tell you what, boys, we ain't starving anytime soon. Not with all that food. Mmm, 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 mmm. We just gotta wait until this rice is done, and then we can wrap things up. Speaking of wrapping things up, you know what else to be, needs to be wrapped up? Your, your Father's Day presents. No, 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 no. No, that's a joke. Father's Day was a long time ago. These are only made like a week in advance. Okay, you know what? That's a, that's a different point. You know what else needs to be wrapped up? This episode. Thank you for watching, everyone. I've been Master Mark. I hope you enjoyed this, because I sure enjoyed making it. Uh, thank you for watching. Uh, if you like this video, feel free to like it. If you have any jokes, comments, suggestions, I try my best to fix things when I can. But be aware that it may tip be a small delay, a, a, a couple episodes of delay before I see your comment. YouTube is funky sometimes. Also, if you want to see more content like this, feel free to subscribe. All in all, thank you for watching. I've been Master Mark, and I'll see you next time on RimWorld. Bye!